Welcome back to Cars Jade. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz around the 2025 Kia Sportage. With compact SUVs flooding the market, standing out is no easy feat. But Kia has managed to make a splash with the Sportage. Let's explore what we can expect from the 2025 model. In a sea of compact SUVs, the Kia Sportage has made its mark thanks to its striking design introduced in the 2023 model. Although it's still a few years away from a mid-cycle refresh, the 2025 Sportage is expected to see some minor updates, keeping it competitive against rivals like the Nissan Rogue, Honda CR-V, and Subaru Forester. After minimal updates in 2024, the 2025 Sportage is expected to follow suit with only slight tweaks. The previous year saw standard LED projector headlights, second-row airbags, and the discontinuation of the SDX AWD trim. Prices increased by $1,170 across the lineup. Trend that might continue. So what do you think about this new SUV? Few compact crossovers leave as strong an impression as the Kia Sportage. Its sleek styling and eye-catching lighting make it a standout, while the upscale interior, brimming with high-tech features, adds to its allure. However, its focus on aesthetics and tech means driving dynamics take a back seat. The suspension is tuned for comfort, making it a great daily driver, but the engine lacks power and refinement. We recommend the hybrid model for better fuel efficiency and performance as the gas-only version offers mediocre fuel economy. In terms of performance and MPGs, the 2025 Sportage is likely to carry over the same 2.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine producing 187 hep and 178 pound-feet of torque, paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive will remain standard with all-wheel drive available. The X-Line AWD, Sportage X-Pro, and Sportage X-Pro Prestige trims will feature standard all-wheel drive. In testing, the Sportage X-Pro hit 0 to 60 mph in 9.3 seconds, making it one of the slower options in its class. Fuel economy for the 2024 model should carry over, with FBD versions returning 2533rds Mech City slash Highway and AWD models expected to achieve 23 slash 26 to 30 Mech. So what to expect from the hybrid version? We anticipate that the 2025 Sportage will continue offering its hybrid and plug-in hybrid PHEV variants. The Sportage hybrid should feature a 1.6-liter turbocharged inline-four engine and an electric motor, delivering a combined 227 hep and 258 pound-feet of torque and a quicker 0 to 60 mph time of 7.2 seconds. Fuel economy should remain at 38 to 42 slash 38 to 44 McCity slash highway. The PHEV will likely retain its more powerful motor and larger battery producing 261 EP and achieving a 0 to 60 amp time of 7.1 seconds, with an all-electric range of 34 miles and a total range of 430 miles. The 2024 model's EPA rating of 84 MEMP E and 35 MEMP should carry over. The 2025 Sportage is expected to benefit from the Kia Drive wise suite of driver assistance technology, including features like front automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, lane following assist, automatic high beams, and reverse parking distance warning. Higher trims will offer additional tech such as blind spot monitoring, front automatic emergency braking with junction turning detection, rear cross-traffic collision avoidance assist, front parking sensors, adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and a 360-degree camera. In terms of interior space, the 2025 Kia Sportage is expected to retain its generous dimensions. It will continue to offer spacious second-row legroom, measuring 41.4 inches in the front and 41.3 inches in the rear. Cargo capacity remains competitive, providing 36.6 cubic feet behind the seats and expanding to 69.3 cubic feet, with the rear seats folded down. These dimensions ensure ample room for passengers and cargo alike, enhancing the Sportage's versatility for daily use and longer journeys. So what tech improvement can we expect from this new SUV? The 2025 Sportage will likely carry over much of its tech from 2024. Base models should feature a 12.2-inch instrument cluster and an 8.0-inch infotainment touchscreen, while higher trims will come with dual 12.3-inch displays, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and two front-row USB ports. Additional tech options include a wireless charging pad, second-row USB ports, a 360-degree camera, and Harman Kardon audio. However, we hope Kia addresses the confusing capacitive touch switchgear for radio and climate controls. More on the trim level, the 2025 Sportage will continue offering seven trim levels, LX, EX, X-Line, AVE, SX, SX Prestige, X-Pro, and X-Pro Prestige. 
The Axaline is equipped with standard all-wheel drive, 8.3 inches of ground clearance and 19-inch wheels with all-season tires. The X-Pro enhances this with 17-inch wheels and Beat of Goodrich all-terrain tires, plus the standard features like a panoramic sunroof, power-operated tailgate, and LED interior lighting. The X-Prestige trim adds heated and ventilated front seats, a 360-degree camera, and front parking sensors. That's all for today's deep dive into the 2025 Kia Sportage. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest automotive news and reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.